begin this morning with a major development in the fight against COVID-19. The FDA has issued an emergency use authorization for Pfizer's booster shot to be given to seniors and other at-risk populations. The CDC is working on developing specific guidelines for who's going to be eligible for a third dose and when they'll be available. Already around 2.3 million immunocompromised Americans have gotten extra doses. Bradley Blackburn has more on all of this. Bradley, good morning. Good morning. President Biden had hoped to be offering boosters to all Americans by now. The FDA isn't going that far, but this decision could clear the way for a lot of people. Roughly 55 million Americans are age 65 or older, and that is more than 15% of the population. The FDA last night authorized expanded access to booster shots of Pfizer's COVID-19 vaccine. The decision would apply to people aged 65 and up, as well as those with weakened immune systems. The agency also said a third dose should be offered to adults whose job or living situation frequently exposes them to the virus. In a tweet, White House Press Secretary Jen Psaki called the announcement a major step forward. It's now up to the CDC to decide how and when the booster shots will be distributed. An advisory committee's vote on that could happen this week. To beat the pandemic here, we need to beat it everywhere. During a virtual pandemic summit convened by the White House, President Biden stressed the importance of getting more of the world its first vaccine shots. The United States is buying another half billion doses of Pfizer to donate to low and middle income countries around the world. That brings the U.S. pledge to a billion doses it plans to give away. Critics say that's not enough. You can imagine our disappointment to be at an assembly like this rubbing shoulders with nations that are now administering booster shots, while most of our people have yet to get their first one. In a video played at the U.N. General Assembly, Malawi's president said the developing world is being victimized by what he called vaccine nationalism. And regarding those boosters here in the U.S., the FDA's decision applies only to the Pfizer vaccine. Dr. Anthony Fauci says the government is still waiting for more data from Moderna and Johnson & Johnson on their boosters, but those authorizations could come in the next few weeks. Laura? Well, Bradley, today the CDC's Advisory Committee on Immunization Practices is expected to vote on guidelines for use of boosters. So could you explain what recommendations they're going to be voting on? Right. Well, they've already been reviewing the data this week, and the committee looks at the FDA's approval, but they'll nail down exactly how that gets implemented and who is eligible for a booster. The CDC director is expected to sign off on whatever the committee decides. Uh, so in theory, the booster expansion could start within days. I think a big question a lot of people have is, can those who qualify for a Pfizer booster, can they get it if they received a Moderna or a Johnson & Johnson vaccine for their initial inoculation? Right. And that's actually one of the hangups with this CDC, CDC committee, Laura. You may, in theory, be able to mix vaccines, but the safety hasn't been fully studied yet and mixing doses is not currently approved. So some committee members are concerned that if they move forward with just the Pfizer booster, people who had the Moderna vaccine or J&J &J will try to switch to a Pfizer shot, either intentionally or just out of confusion. And again, authorities are looking at boosters for those other vaccines, too. It's just not approved yet. All right, Bradley, thank you.